Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 35, and this is war number nine. And we're going up against an alliance called Sentinel Juggernauts Ultimates. All right, let's uh, see who they've banned. Oh, hoo, hoo, they banned Spider-Man 2099, uh, Doom, and Human Torch. All right, let's take a look and see what they have in store for us. So we can uh, start planning out our attack. Man thing. We see him there all the time uh, these days, um, or quite often. So we'll talk about this. We had a plan. It didn't work out last uh, war. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what we do um, for this time. I, I like the plan. But I don't think anybody on this side has a great counter uh, for that node. Because that, that's what it is. Nebula can do that fight, but there's so much going on that ugh, it's just annoying. It really is. Uh, but anyway, look at this. We got Colossus on this first node. That's Claire. Um, we also have a Captain Marvel movie. Uh, that could be Nick Fury, but we have to see who else we have. Okay, you got Bishop. Hmm, Bishop, huh? And we've got... All right. Yep, we got um, Guardian. We got Penny Parker. Ugh, Penny Parker on that. And Nimrod. So... What I'm going to try to pitch to them, I can take that Nimrod. Um, Nebula seems to be great for that Nimrod. Uh, so if that's the case, uh, and I also have Claire, so I'll probably bring in um, Nebula, Claire, and... Probably going to have to bring in White Magneto to help out with that man thing unless uh, one of them wants to bring uh, man, uh, White Magneto. Uh, if I don't bring my White Magneto, then I would just bring in, um, let's see, yeah, for that Penny Parker, I might just bring in um, Corvus. I could do that. And who do we got? America Chavez. Okay. But boss, mini boss islands already taken care of. We already got a crew for that. So all I have to worry about is my path and minis. And uh, that Nimrod should be mine. So that will free them up. Man thing. And Bishop will be one of uh, the others. So I think that's what we're going to do. And then, let's see. Yeah, that I think that works out um, pretty nicely. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so we're going in with Claire, Nebula, and White Magneto. That is the plan. Anytime we see Man-Thing on that node, we discussed it and we had a first try at it last war. Uh, he used Thing. It didn't go uh, so well for him and I had to finish him off, uh, Man-Thing off. So we're going to see how it works this time. All right, so first fight is Colossus. And honestly, this is not a great node for Colossus, but it doesn't matter. Claire, she is a great counter to Colossus, uh, most anywhere that you find him. And although the other placement in Section 2, that first node, is a better placement, Claire still takes him out. So doesn't really matter. And here we go. Now, something I noticed, he was getting a lot of power. You know, I was hitting him and I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Why is he getting so much power so quickly? What's going on? You know, I was just like, okay, whatever. We got this. You know, I 
hit him with a special two. Ripped him up good. He's immune to um, the incinerate. But you can see I'm already at a special one. So we're just having fun. Look at that. Special two ready. Boom. And that should do it. Night, night, Colossus. And that was that for him. Ah, Claire. Definitely has to be my most useful and favorite mystic. Now, this fight here got a little sketchy, but we went in. I wasn't going to go in with Nebula, mainly because I know what um, energy attacks do to her, and I didn't want to deal with that indestructible and everything, right? So I'm sitting here, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. It's going up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Claire does energy attacks. All right. So we blocked that one because we're not trying to... You know, mess up. See, just blocking. All right. And I'm like, all right, we got this. She's almost gone. And I can see the count up there. And so I decided to do that, hoping that maybe that would keep her from going. It didn't. And then she came back up and hit me with a unblockable. But I evaded it. I was ready for her. I blocked the other two. But that one, if I had tried that, she would have got me. Um, but yeah, I tried. I believe those are passive. But I had tried it, and I was like, oh, man, that's right. They're passive. I can't um, keep her from uh, going indestructible that way. All right. So I didn't record it, but I did put the White Mag's uh, pre-fight on. And look at that. He got him without dying. So the plan is working. I don't remember who he used. He didn't use a thing anymore. He went in with somebody else. And... He's been doing great against that man thing. With the pre-fight, he said, is essential. Makes the fight just that much easier. All right, so now they got me going up against Guardian. You'll notice that the uh, Node 24 Mini was already cleared. I don't know who did. Um, but that's why I usually either take the first Mini or the third Mini because I'm usually asleep when uh, one of our alliance mates is up and making his moves. So the one thing about this is that I have to always remember it's very risky to fire specials because he likes to auto block specials. All right, so I'm just playing it safe for now, baiting out his specials, blocking them, you know, moving out of the way of the last part of it. All right. Everything's looking good. And at this point, I'm thinking, you know what? You know what he can't auto, uh, auto block? Special three. So this is one of the few times you'll see me pushing her on purpose to a special three. And we even got the 20% damage boost. Give him that touch, girl. And, oh, and he's done. So, not too bad, not too bad. Only special I threw was a special three, which he could not block. Love it. Now, this next fight was probably my most difficult fight, and it's Penny Parker. This war, this was my most difficult fight. You see how I've been going through uh, the other fights, and they've been pretty straightforward. I have great counters and all that. Now, I could have used Nebula here. And I thought about using Nebula here. I really did. Um, I couldn't remember if Penny was uh, shock immune or not. But I wanted to save uh, Nebula for Nimrod. And so I'm like, all right, let me heal her up. And, um, you know, White Mags might also have, uh, if he was ranked up, might not have been a bad uh, option to take her down. I've never done it. I don't know. Uh, I don't really use uh, white mags uh, for fighting. So now I got to fight this Penny. I don't like fighting Penny, but I'm trying to learn how to fight her. Okay. So at this point, the shield is not up. 
So we're just going in and we're able to fight her like normal, hit into her block. But of course, she's on that explosive personality. So you can't do that. It's it's a really good placement for Penny. It's it's actually a really good placement for Penny. All right. Because you want to hit into her, her block to get that shield down. But on explosive personality, you'll be building that up and she'll next thing you know, she'll be unblockable. Well, Claire can take care of that at least. Uh, so you see here, so far so good, right? And I'm, I'm playing it very safe. See, there we go with the auto block. And I'm just trying to play this really, really safely. All right, so there we go. And I'm so upset that they fixed her, I guess, so that I can't just do a heavy attack and go through the auto block. She can auto block my heavy attacks. Now look at this, I'm taking all this damage just her shield and I'm like come on so that's usually how I fight her and then I did this I was like no no oh just barely survived that I thought I was dead I really should have died right there no reason I should be alive right now and look at this one percent really we got her down oh I do not like fighting her I really don't um as you can see, Claire can do it, but it was so dicey. And I got really lucky uh, when I fired that special off because I, was, I wasn't watching exactly, and I thought I was at a special three. I forgot that I hit into her block, and it power burns you as well as does damage. So I was no longer going to be at a special three, and I wasn't really watching it. And so I'm like thinking, oh, I'm firing a special three. Oh, wait, no, I don't have the power. But we survived it and we got her. Now, this fight, this is the first fight uh, that I'm using Nebula on a full health. Rank four, Nimrod. And you're going to see what she can do. Uh, I love using advanced power boost because it just gets her to her special two just that much faster. All right, and so you can see here, he's ranked four, but I'm not taking a whole lot of damage into my block, and it doesn't matter, okay? We're just building up, building up, okay? Building up, 17, 18, 19, 20, boom. Now, we want to get close to the special two. Parry, and it's going to be lights out, all right? So here we go. He didn't parry. I didn't get the parry there. Boom. And bam. Boom. Boom. Lights out. She is the best option. If I see Nimrod there, it's a wrap. He is done. Nebula owns him. That, I mean, there is just... I can't think of anybody that's even better uh, for that node with Nimrod. All right. So we're going to take a brief intermission and we'll be back. And you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back and the winning streak continues. We won this one. All right. Um, I don't know whether we're going to make Platinum 3, uh, but we're making a decent push. Uh, we got kind of late uh, started with a push for Platinum 3 in the season. Um, but... Honestly, it's like a difference of 5,000 six-star shards, which is not really that big of a deal right now, but we'll see. We'll see. We still, we're still on track, okay? But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. What do you think about Nebula? Mm. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.